Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. We are back in snowy Alaska. Yeah. It is a few days till Christmas. It is actually the Saturday before Christmas, which is one of the busiest shopping days of the year, where people are out and about and crazy and insane. So where are we going? All of the stores. We're going shopping with all of the crazy people and we are bringing <laughs> you guys along with us. And just in case you didn't believe us that it is snowy Alaska, Look at that. And even though it is snowy outside, it's actually not too bad, 23 degrees. Which um, is much colder than it was in Florida. Yes. However, it's much warmer than it was when we left Alaska. It's true. It was like zero and negative when we left. So 20 kind of feels warm. I walked outside yesterday and it was 24. <laughs> and I was like, it's so warm outside. We, were, we went and saw the new Spider-Man movie with Desi last night. And she was like, I didn't even wear a jacket. So you guys, you know it's stupid. You, you know it's been a cold <laughs> winter when 24 is like, oh, it's warming up. Right. Let's go shopping. <laughs> so we already made one stop. And vlogging during Christmas time is a little bit different, Sherry. Yeah. Be because we're like buying gifts for people who watch our vlogs. Right. And so we can't vlog everything. We can't really even show where we went because some of that is like a giveaway. It's so awkward. But the next place we're going is Metro Cooks, one of our favorite stores. Also, another one of our favorite stores, Great Harvest Bread Company, <laughs> or as Auburn calls it, Bread! <laughs> <laughs> well, we made a stop next door at a place called The Whole Look, which is where you got your nose piercing done. Yes. Because what did you get? Cartilage piercing ring. So you have your cartilage pierced. Yes. And I have for like 21 years. Um, but I just don't have anything with like the flat back, so I just have been using regular earrings, but it stabs me in the back of the head. So I wanted something with a flat back. And we found it. We got some All right, from ear piercing to homeware, let's go to Metro Cooks. This is actually one of the gifts that we were looking for. Uh, we have one that Sarah, Emma, and Auburn gave us, and we love it so much. And we have a friend who we are going to give one to. This was Sherry's idea. Sherry, good idea. Well, at this point now we're just shopping for ourselves. Let's be <laughs> let's be very honest. Look at this taco set. So I love cute. the bowl. I love the taco holders, just the color. Sherry's just gonna break stuff now apparently. I, I feel a little bit attacked by this. <laughs> I found a shelf that looks like all Sherry stuff. I'm not sure there's a single thing anywhere on here that if I bought Sherry she wouldn't like. True. Like everything on there is just pink and amazing. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing that I love about this store. Yes, it's like a kitchen store where you can buy like La Crusette and like high-end appliances and just like lots of different stuff, but that you can also buy like an old keychain from Pizza Planet. Like, what? Last year some friends got me a Joe Exotic like Saint candle, and so I want to see who they have this year. Look at that, the entire Friends cast. So spectacular. Oh. Look at that. There's Dolly, our queen, and one of the best sticker selections in the entire town. Look at all these. Sherry found one she likes. I'm too magical for this. <laughs> I also really love the <laughs> wasabi. <laughs> what makes you laugh so much? Sushi sponges. Wasabi. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> I think I might have just found one of the greatest koozies I've ever seen. The white claw. <laughs> Beet seltzer. <laughs> False. False. It's so good. So you can see we're actually upstairs on the second floor now here at Metro Cooks, and they have a lending library, which is pretty amazing. It is just all cookbooks. And you can browse the cookbooks, take anything that interests you, and you can bring them back when you're done or keep them. If you need to donate cookbooks, you can bring them here as well. Isn't that cool? I don't think I've ever seen a cookbook specific lending library before. I would say that was a huge success. Sherry Beth, can we carry this? Thanks, love. Now, on to the next stop, wherever that may be. Actually, I have a question. Can we stop in Great Harvest Bread Company and get a slice of bread? Yes. Our plan is to go back to keto after the first of the year. But you know what? It's not the first of the year yet. Let's eat some carbs. So, Sherry. The smell in here is, is amazing. It so good. So we got a loaf of the double chocolate peppermint bread. Yes, please. And then Sherry is getting a sample of the white chocolate cherry, which is one of your favorites. So good. I'm getting the garlic cheese. I love this place. 
We've talked about it in a number of vlogs. The free samples that they give you at Great Harvest. They're entire pieces of bread. Look at this. Like, do you see this? Definitely drop some cheese. I dropped some cheese. Oh man, how is it? And oh my gosh, the garlic cheese, it smells so good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see your white chocolate cherry or white chocolate sherry. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. With the cherries on top. Just it. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite stops. Yeah. How could we not? Uh, so let's talk a little bit today, how we're doing as far as the gifts that were on our list. I think good. I think good. We have a couple more places to stop. You have a couple more places to stop, but I feel like we're checking stuff off the list. Mm -hmm. And it's not as crazy as I expected it today. It's busy, but it's not like... Overwhelmingly so. Overwhelmingly so, yeah. So it's been good. So we're gonna go eat our loaves of bread mm -hmm. here in the parking lot and then on to our next stop. Come on, you guys knew you weren't gonna get a Christmas shopping vlog without a stop at Target, didn't you? Well, we're sort of here shopping for Christmas gifts for others, but we're also kind of just shopping for ourselves. And I saw this like velvety, like crushed velvet shirt, and I think it's awesome. Well, again, the plan was to Christmas shop for other people, and the only thing we've bought so far is something for our cat. And now I'm trying to convince myself that Missy does not need this castle cat scratcher but I kind of think that she does. When we went into Target, I certainly did not think that the only thing we'd be leaving with would be a box of delectable <laughs> bisques for Missy. However, this was actually a really successful trip, and I'll tell you why as soon as we get to the Jeep. So the reason it was such a successful stop is that while we were in there walking through the aisles buying basically nothing, <laughs> uh, we were discussing the people we still need to buy gifts for, and we finalized on what we're getting them, Unfortunately, nothing is nothing at Target. At Target. Right. But I'm actually really happy with what we're getting. Yes. How do you feel? I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think so too. So I believe you guys, by the end of today, we will be done with gifts for like all of our kind of close friends. Yeah, and we're going more for experience than like stuff. Completely. Actually, this is almost all experience this year. Yep. I just like this so much. In fact, I told Sherry, like when do we stop doing gifts? as adults. And, and what I mean is that like, we're very blessed, very fortunate. Th there is like nothing we need. Right. In fact, I'm really struggling this year with like, what's on my Christmas list? Like I literally have everything that I need. Right. <sighs> it's hard. So we just got to the mall. It looks crazy down there, but I don't know what this is. It's called the Market at Diamond Center. And this used to be like what, Forever 21, is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, looks like maybe a craft market now. I had no clue this was here. Look how pretty these are with like the cut out, just wood frames. I love those. And you know I love the buffalo plaid. So cool. Look at how cute these cuddly blankets are. I bet Sherry wants that one right there. Yep, that's what I figured. Sherry, how you doing with all the people? A little overwhelmed? We are going up to Dave & Buster's for what I think will be our last stop of the day. And now all I have to do is convince Sherry that we should stay here for a couple of hours playing video games. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced that Dave & Buster's may be Sherry's like worst nightmare. It is so loud in here and I love it so much. It is like sensory overload everywhere you look. All right, so our next stop is this store. It's called Go Calendars. It's sort of like a it seems like a temporary pop-up store here in the mall, and I love this. It is the world's tiniest leaf blower. It's a USB-powered leaf blower and a USB-powered vacuum. Sherry, what in the heck? Karaoke microphone. Okay, I kind of want that, though. <laughs> when we were at Target, the Lego aisle was like... Out. Yeah, crazy picked over. So we thought we'd look at Legos here. They have a couple of good ones, nothing... Nothing that we can't live without, I don't think. They have a ton of puzzles, and we found the Christmas puzzles. <laughs> Sherry, we have not done a Christmas puzzle. True. So, this would be kind of fun. A thousand piece. But see, that's too... I, I can't... Okay, about this? 300. This is the second story. It's Thomas Kincaid, though. Mm -hmm. There's this 300 piece puzzle. Yeah. That's more my scene. 300 is about my strong area 500 is pushing it a little bit but i do like that one i think it's really cute all right sherry what do you think we have a week till christmas should we pick out a puzzle and do one a 500 piece rudolph puzzle are you sure you're really only like obligated to help with like five pieces okay you get four you get 495 pieces i'll get five pieces deal we're in line to check out and sherry found something that i think she wants 
It's a hatch and grow. <laughs> Do we need to get that so you can grow your unicorn? Our time at the mall officially done. All right, Sherry, we survived. Okay. The mall is over, and I think Christmas shopping almost over as well. I think so. We have a little bit of shopping still to do for each other, yep. but gifts for friends I feel really good about. Yeah. We actually spent a little bit longer today shopping than I had planned on, but I knew that we were almost done, and so I'd rather have like one long day. That way tomorrow we don't have to think about Christmas shopping or malls or stores or all of the craziness because we're finished. All right, friends, we are back home. I think we're gonna sit down and do some more Christmas cards. Um, I wanna give you guys an update on the Leg Life Christmas Card Exchange. It is, just look at this. You guys, these are all of the cards that you sent us. Uh, we have boxes over in Auburn's room, but that is, that's the cards. Sherry, it's so many. So many. <laughs> it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And we've got like seven more that we got today, plus however many you guys send us uh, this next week. Because remember, on Christmas Day, we are doing a live stream where we're gonna go through all of the cards. We're gonna hang out with you guys on Christmas Day. All of that information is down below. We're actually really looking forward to that. It's kind of a new tradition that we started last year. I almost said it's a new tradition we started next year. That's not how that that's not how that works. It's a tradition we started last year, doing it again this year because it's just so fun. And you guys have not seen Missy in over a week since we've been gone. Look at her coming out of her room. She was in there napping under the bed. And I just saw Missy coming out. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, pretty girl. How are you? How was your week? Did what are we where are we going? What are we doing? How, oh, she wants treats. You guys, I think we've shared this before in the vlog. Um, so she comes over here and she rubs her head right here on this because the little jars we put her little soups in are right down there. So she comes around the corner and rubs her head on the edge when she wants soup. Sweet girl, you had some earlier today. We don't get two soups. Even though it's Saturday, it's not two soup Saturday. Okay, so we're just, uh, we're just gonna give people an update on you, not get more soups. Oh, oh my gosh, you're so cute. I'm probably gonna give her more soup now. <laughs> just kinda show you guys, this has been kind of our routine here at the table with our Christmas cards. We sit down and open all the cards and then we sort them into two stacks, uh, cards that included like return address labels because those are just so simple and then cards that we have to write the addresses on and then we go through we get them all done and then we um put stamps on them take them to the mailbox we have been able to fortunately like stay up on this with the exception obviously when we were gone for the last week uh you guys sent so many just well look at this you guys it was just absolutely insane so many packages, uh, so many cards. But we cranked them out in, like, I think the day we got home, actually. By the end of the day we got home, <laughs> we were all caught up. And that was our, that was, like, our, like, goal. Because we get so many cards in the Christmas card exchange, if we fall behind, it is death. Like, <laughs> you have to stay <laughs> on top of it. So, I think that's what we're going to do, is we're going to go and uh, finish all of these cards. And I want to say, Sherry just read me the story in one of the cards that we received. It has been, so, first of all, you guys have been telling us parts of your story unlike any Christmas card exchange before. Some amazing letters we've received. The one she just read was from some people who were supposed to be on the viewer cruise and received a false positive at the port. We didn't know that that had happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just breaks my heart. <laughs> like, I, we got so sad for them. Just like our hearts sank. So you guys have been sharing lots of great stuff, lots of hard stuff, just real life stuff with us. Again, we're gonna go through all of these cards on um, the live stream on Christmas Day. But for now, we're gonna go address them, get them all mailed out. I wanna show how Missy is pouting right now. <laughs> uh, she wants soup, but she can't have soup because she had soup earlier today. So I tried to give her some hard treats. You guys see there's like two of them right on the ground right there. She walked over, sniffed them, left, now she has her back turned to us. She's laying in front of the door where her little soups are. <laughs> like the amount of sass this one has. Missy, yeah, you turned your ears at me. You know what's going on. <laughs> You're not the boss of this house. We are. No. We're the adults. No. Oh my gosh, this one. You know that she gets all of her sass from you, right? 100%. Yep. <laughs> Sherry picked up the two little treats we tried to give her. 
and is now trying to hand feed them to her. She's like rubbing her face on them. You gonna eat it? She's like, that's not soup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're a little bit ridiculous, you know You're that. sweet. A little bit ridiculous. But really annoying. All right, so I got something that I both want to and need to show you guys. Um, if you saw a video we did earlier in Vlogmas, like kind of I think at the beginning of Vlogmas, sure, and I went to like three different uh, holiday markets in one day. It was such a good Saturday. But when we ended the day, we had one regret. And that regret was a pen that I didn't buy. It's by this local, uh, this local couple out in the valley, like the Wasilla Palmer area, who makes pens, like writing pens, and they make them out of like movie novelty memorabilia kind of stuff. And this one pen they had, had a piece of wood in it from the garage that Walt Disney's first studio was in when he moved to California. Like the original Disney studio garage where the magic not only happened, but kind of started in California. Now it was a lot of money, so Sherry and I passed even though we really wanted it. Um, and it was one of those things that I kind of kicked myself because one of my beliefs is that uh, if you find something that you love, that you know you will never find again, that's the kind of thing you should have, right? It's not a mass produced thing and nothing like that. Uh, so Sherry and I both kind of kicked ourselves for not getting it because we knew we'd never see another one again. Well, you guys, we, we have the very best friends in the entire world because Ben and Amanda came by, I don't know, a few days later, and they had a gift for me. Um, it was actually on Walt Disney's birthday, and they showed up here at our house, and look what they gave me. You guys, they got me the Walt Disney pen. I, I, <laughs> I don't even have words for this. It is just so unbelievably cool. Walt Disney's first California studios from 1923, the pen made with a piece of the wood from that original garage. And it does come with the certificate of authenticity as well, kind of telling the story. Walt Disney's garage of dreams. You're the proud owner of a piece of Disney history. And then on the back, all of the certificate of authenticity information. And it's so cool because it's made by an Alaskan company, Matanuska Pens. Um, wh what an unbelievable gift this is. You guys know how much I love Disney history. You guys know how much I love Walt. My love for Disney uh, kind of stems from the fact that I have a creative crush on Walt Disney himself. And so now to get to own a piece of, of Walt's history and of Disney history is such a big deal. So Ben and Amanda, you guys spoil us with your friendship and you spoil us with gifts. This is so over the top. Um, thank you so much. I'm so glad when I opened the bag and saw it, I just, I, I don't know that I cursed out loud because the kids were here, but I certainly <laughs> cursed in my head. What an amazing gift. All right, friends, it's Saturday filled with shopping and errands. And honestly, my guess is there are many people out there who had a very similar Saturday, <laughs> right? You spent- It's a retail Christmas. That's exactly, it's a retail Christmas. We gotta go to Target. We gotta go to the mall. Come on, we gotta go. Right. But how are you feeling? What are we till Christmas? Like, how are you feeling as far as like Christmas prep goes? Good, I still have a few things for you. Ooh, like what? And I still need to get something for my sister. You forgot to, you forgot to ask, you forgot to answer, what? Some things. Okay, um, yeah, for your sister. So the way that we do with Sherry's family, at least the adults in the family, mm -hmm. is we draw names. Yep. As far as, you know, and whoever you draw, that's who you buy for. And then we FaceTime and we all open. You drew your sister. I drew my sister. Who was always fun to buy for. In fact, I feel like I've drawn Lisa the last few years. I feel like you have, yeah. So I'm excited that I got her this time. Who did I draw? Me. <laughs> So, Which is funny. <laughs> now I gotta figure out what the heck Sherry wants for Christmas. Uh, I actually, I confession, I do not have your gift yet. Oh. For the family gift exchange. Worst case scenario, I'll just pull something out from under the tree. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, no, this one's for the family. Oh, totally. Um, hopefully it's not like an inappropriate, so I don't know what. <laughs> what I find is inappropriate <laughs> under the tree. As soon as I started to say that, I thought I probably shouldn't be vlogging this, but I am. Welcome to Leg Life. All right. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of what we are, how are we feeling going into the last week before Christmas? Yep. What does work look like for you this week? Uh, pretty easy, I think. Um, I asked my boss what the like Christmas week schedule was, and she said, let's work in the office Monday, work a little bit from home on Tuesday, and then that's it. So awesome. <laughs> I was like, 
Okay. <laughs> so pretty nice. Yeah. I I also have a pretty easy schedule, so we can spend lots of time. Together. Christmas week together, which is fun because we have a Christmas puzzle to do. You guys saw that. We do have a Christmas puzzle. We got Christmas we got movies to watch. Christmas movies. I feel like we're way behind on Christmas movies. So far behind. Oh. Yeah, we watched like this much of The Grinch tonight while we ate dinner. Yep, so okay. lots of Christmas movies, um, lots of Vlogmas videos still to come. Again, we're going to keep yeah. going through the end of the year, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Friends, we love you guys so much. Um, feels nice to be vlogging back at home. Yeah. Back home in Alaska. In the real time. Real time. So mm -hmm. we love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow on the next Lug Life Vlogmas video. Mm -hmm.